Hi, welcome to a run through of a solo game of Dice Settlers. So I've got everything set up here for a two player game with the bot, and I'm going to start off by picking one of the starting tiles for me. So what do we have here? We have <clears throat> a green tile with a wood and a green dice, that's quite nice. A yellow tile with a pumpkin and a yellow dice, quite similar. And then a grey tile with just a bonus draw. I think I will go for a green. Yeah, let's start with the green. The bot then gets a random one. Let's see, it's going to get, it's getting a grey. Okay, that one goes back in the box. So I get to put one of my tents from my personal supply starting there on this tile. And the bot gets one from his personal supply into his tile. And the game is afoot. So, I'm first player. I'm going to draw three dice from my bag. There's two, and a third one. So I've got two whites and a yellow. Let's see what I get. So, not too bad, a starting thing. I've got two explores and a uh, recruit action. And as I'm first player, I will uh, start off. Actually, we should probably roll for the bot first, shouldn't we? So let's let's do his roll as well. So he is going to get, because he has five dice in the queue, he's going to get four of those dice from the front of the queue. Queue shuffles up. Roll them. And we will assign them round the hex here. Based on the symbol. So this will go next to research. This will go next to settle. This will go next to explore. And this one gets cashed in for a wood token. Uh, that gets it back of the queue, and then the wood token, because uh, there's nothing in the middle at the moment, goes straight in the middle. If there'd been something in the middle, it would go into this space here with the fewest dice, but it's gone and been produced immediately. So I'm quite happy with what I have here, so I think I'll go ahead and do an explore action. I'll spend both these dice, they go into my spent pile, and I will draw two tiles from the top, both grey. Well, I did shuffle them, but apparently. Not great, so I think, well that will give me a bonus dice draw, but that gives me, that's worth 8 points, I think I might go for this one. So, I pop that on the map next to one I'm already on, I get to take a, a tent from my personal supply, sorry, my general supply, put it into there, that one gets discarded from the game. Uh, the uh, bot will always follow, so he's going to have one on, and I will take one from my personal supply. So I maintain control there. And this, as you can see, is a factory where I, if I take a tent off, I can gain an anvil. So that was my first action. It's the bot's first action. So we roll his dice. He's got a three. So the action marker moves three steps, and the steps are the dice and resources around the edge. So we've got one, two, three. He lands here. He's going to do a settle action of strength one. So that die will go to the back. And we will now do a settle action of strength one. So we can see here in the rules, the settle action has a few uh, priorities. So it's going to go on a tile of a colour which is currently has no existence, its existing present on. We can see there is one of those. So he's going to take one from his personal supply, pop it on there. And that's it, that's his turn done. Oh, I didn't take my starting resources, silly me. I should have started with one wood and an extra green die in my bag, which I'll put in now. That should have been already in my bag. So that was his first turn. Uh, this is my second turn, and I have a recruit. And I think I shall recruit. Um, I have presence on a grey, and I don't have any grey dice. I think I shall take a grey dice. So that goes my spent. I've got a grey dice. That goes also down in the spent area down there. His second action. Three again. So he goes, counts around one, two, three. So there we go, he has got a, an explore action of strength of one. So he'll get one tile, and he puts it as far away as he can from me, but there's no way he can go really far away from me, so he'll put it up here for now. And he gets to put a tent on from his general supply. Um, as it's an orange and there aren't any oranges out, I'm going to follow him on that. Uh, but then he gets to put, he will always maintain control if he can. Here we are. So that's the first round. The play marker moves on. There are no factories where he is on that I would want to take off because he hasn't got any control of those. 
So we're moving it over to the rest of the cleanup. I don't need to do any more cleanup because I've got any dice left. So we're on to the next round. So he has got four dice left in his queue. He'll take all four and roll them. Let's get that one. So he has got. Um, so I'll get the wood for that symbol there, and I'll put that at the back of the queue, which is actually the front as well. So he starts off putting all dice showing actions first. So that goes here. For the explore. The pioneer dice fill up round the empty hexes, hex edges like this. And then the wood, one is produced in the middle already, so I'm not going to put anything else in the middle. Instead it goes to the um, the first hex edge with the least dice. Clockwise, so that's there. That's him ready. I need to draw three dice. I have three dice in my bag. Get them all out. Give them a roll. So I have two trade, and I only have one good at the moment to trade, so I'm not too happy with those. Um, and one reroll, which I can't really use it as one thing. So I think I'm going to use it as a reroll and reroll these if I get. Well, that's not too bad, I suppose. Get some wood. But that means I'm only going to get one action this turn, which isn't as good. So let's see his turn first, what he does. He gets a three, so he's going to move one, two, three to this side. He is going to do a trade action. He has one good, he will sell that. And he gets two victory points for that. Pop that over in his area over there. Over to me, I have a whole one action. So I could discard one of these to draw dice out of my bag. I could have done that. Um, but actually, I quite like the idea of having three. That's going to sell for quite, quite a good amount. So I'm going to cash those in for two lovely bits of wood, which are going to fit. Where are they there on the basket? Let's stack them on the basket, shall we? Here we go. His second turn. Let's see what he does. He has a three again. It likes rolling threes this dice. There are only two threes on this die, but it's rolled them all so far. So, three around. One, two, three. So he's going to do a research action. Dice goes back. He has a strength one research. Let's see what he can afford. He hasn't got any produced goods, so he can't buy either of those. He only has one research symbol, so he can only actually do this one. So he'll do that. He claims that one. He won't actually use that, but he's claimed it for end game points. It's worth zero, but it's it may be a bonus for other things. Let's see. So that's uh, I can't do any actions. So that's the end of the round. Clean up comes over to me, and there are are there any factories I want to take? I could take one off here, but I quite like the idea of having the eight on there. So I'm going to leave that as it is, so we're just going to go into the next round. So I need to draw three dice, I have nothing, I have to put all of my dice back in the bag. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I'll do it off camera here, look. Yeah, that wasn't easy. <laughs> so let me draw three dice, one, two, three, and roll them. And then he is going to draw all his dice and roll them. So we get, uh, he has a settle action, he gets another research action, and this goes clockwise from this point, so it goes round there. Okay. So I'm first player. Do I want to manipulate my dice at all before we start? So I have an anvil, which is not going to be very useful as I've got three of those. The settle I quite like. I will discard this, and I'll actually set my anvil to an explore, I think. That's what I'll do. So the first thing I'll do, I'll do the explore first, I think. So only a one, so I get to whatever it is here. And it's a brown, that's not bad. I'll pop it here. Tent on the general supply. The bot has some tents, so he will follow. I think I will follow to maintain control of that. So this one, this is a nice factor actually. You discard, if you can see that, uh, remove a tent to gain a brown dice. Uh, I think I'm tempted to do that actually. I will do that. I'm going to take one of these off. This goes back into the general supply. And then I get a brown dice. I think that goes back to the general supply. I will check that rule later and mark it up if not. So that was my action. Over to the bot. The dice in here. Four. Yeah, different number. One, two, three, four. Note that these count as separate steps even though they're on the same action. 
So we now have a subtle action of strength two. These that dice goes back, this just gets discarded back to the general supply. And a settle of strength two. So first of all, he goes on to a tile he hasn't got presence on. There aren't any. Or a tile he hasn't got a colour he hasn't got presence on. Um, so he's he's on all the tiles with um, tile with no presence on, he's on all of them. A tile where the least number of tents away from building a house. That's this one here. He has a strength two, but he only has one dice. Uh, sorry, one tent. So what he'll do is he will put one tent on there. Then, up here you'll see, if it has zero tents left in its personal supply but has some remaining strength, one strength left takes three tents, so it's going to do that. He's going to take three tents into his general supply. And then, either way it says, it then places one of the newly acquired tents on a tile using the above priorities. So it will do that straight away, it puts that on there, it has a three tile majority, three tent majority in that tile, it changes those into a house. Now that's not too bad for me because that style doesn't score any points, so I'm not too fussed. Um, I will, I'm tempted to get a tent onto there though, because I get to increase my dice pool if I get on there. So my second action is a settle. And I think what I'll do actually is I'll settle onto here. And what this means, it's the same as here. Ties are friendly, so we are now both governor of this tile. We would both get one point at the game end. But more importantly is I get to increase my dice pool, so I will do that. I can now draw four dice. That's nice, I wanted that. So his last turn, no, the four again. Look at that. One, two, three, four. So he's going to get a trade action. But he has no goods to trade. So because he has nothing to trade, I'll just double check this. For each strength, the bot discards up to three stored resources, which he's done. Uh, can't do that because he hasn't got any. For each point strength remaining, this requires a point. So he just gains a point from the supply. And that is the end of the next round. So Mark goes across. And then we do some rolling. So he's got two dice to roll. He rolls both of them. This one goes into explore. This one, oops, that was a trade. And I get to draw four. So let me just count. I do have four dice in here. I can just tip them out. Excellent. So there we are. So I have a research, which I'm quite tempted to do. I have another wood. No, I already have three wood. I don't really want the wood. Trade. I'll keep the trade for the trading that wood. And I think with this one, I am tempted to say, let's see what else I can do on this die. I could do a settle, or I could do another trade. Yeah, I'm going to discard this die to set this die to a, a settle. I'm tempted to leave this one for next turn. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So he's first player. He rolls. He has a three. So he's going to count round. Strength wise, one, two, three. So he has a strength one research again. Now, he can't afford any of the strength one researches because they both need resources. So instead, and I'll just double check this in the rules. Uh, for each excess point of a strength not required to research a sector card, the bot scores one point. So, because he couldn't, didn't do any research with his strength, he gets an extra point. Raking in the points he is. So I was going to do my trade or my settle. Well, the trade doesn't affect the bot, but the settle might. So I will do the settle. Shall I do that first or second? I think I'll do that second to see what he does. So I'm going to do a trade. I'm going to trade in three of a kind. And a three of a kind gets me... I believe oh, it says it on here, in fact, six points. So I get six points from the supply. There we go. Lovely. His next turn. It's a four again. So one, two, three, four. He has a strength two, explore. Now he doesn't use double strength or more than one strength for explore. He'll even explore one tile. But because he doesn't use the strength, he gets VPs for anything he doesn't spend. So He's got an extra point, and he's exploring this grey tile. Where does he want to put it? Um, I think there is going to be far... actually... Hmm, he'll put it there. Yeah. Doesn't really matter positionally at the moment. Um, oh, it's upside down. That's a nine point tile, that's very nice for him. Oop, I took that from his personal. General supply, there we go. Now I only have one left. And I've got to settle. 
and I kind of wanted to get control of one of these if I can start pushing up here to get control. So I think I'm not going to follow. I will I'll move on to there later, I think. That's my plan. So my action, I will use a settle and I'll use my last personal tent. I'm going to move into here. So I'm almost up to enough to build a house. I need one more. Okay, that is the two actions. So clean up. I'm keeping this die here. This goes across. Do I want to activate any factories? No, he hasn't got any factories there. So, next round. Um, I have no dice in my bag, so it is time to put all seven back in. What I'll do is I can prop the camera down a minute. And when I do this, it's going to go everywhere. There, a nice view of my fireplace. I'm doing that. There we go. Right, so let's get four dice out. One, two, three, four. Roll those. So these are in addition to the one I've kept over from the last round. Do I want to do anything with those? Let's do those now before I do the bots roll. Now, goods I'm not too fussed about right this minute, but the gold is quite nice. Yeah, I think I might keep the gold. Well, I can do both of those. That'll get me two resources. I want to do this action. I'd rather like to do research. As you can see, we've got that gives me a free pioneer icon if I get that. That allows me to use explorers research, which is nice. It does go to by two, but it needs two research. As we can see, research is only available on the yellow and the brown. But I'd need the gold to do that, so I can't do that yet, really. But I might like to do that one that's worth two points. So let's aim for that one. So I will keep that and that. And that's a shame though, because the raid, I would quite like the raid to get control of this tile. Maybe we can do that next time. Um, yeah, I'll keep that as that is for now. I could choose to discard one of these to get some more out. In fact, no, I'll stick with my plan. Or shall I? <laughs> no, let's do it. Let's discard. I'll discard that to draw two more dice out of my bag. Two whites. So I have two settles and a pioneer now. I don't really need the pioneer. What I need is another of these. But I also need the gold. But maybe I can just go for this this time. That might be a good idea. In which case, I will discard that and actually turn this, ironically, I was saving into a pumpkin. I'll just gather those up. So the bot needs to roll. He's going to roll three of his. That's what he's got. And he has got a settle and an explore. And the pioneer goes around to there. So I'm first player. And I think I'll do as my plan was, because I have no personal tents. I can't do the raid yet. I'm going to have to do the settle first. So double settle. I'm going to get two tents, so I can do the raid next turn. Let's see what he does. He's got three, so he's going to go one, two, three. And he's going to do a trade, but he has nothing to trade, so he's just going to get one victory point for that. Then I'm going to do a raid, and I'm going to raid this tent here. Now this goes back to his personal supply. But, more importantly, being I had three majority, uh, they go back to general supply, and I get to place a tent, my first tent. This one is now useless here, but it's a factory, so I could just pull it off into general supply and get an anvil. So, that's not too bad. His second turn, he goes three, one, two, three. He gets a research strength one. He has no resources. He can't resource, uh, research anything because he hasn't got any resources, so he just gets a victory point. He's cleaning out with these victory points. I'll change five of those up to a five VP chip, I think. Let's just do that. There we go. So he's got a five there, so I can easily, more easily see what he has there. End of the round. So I now need... Ah, uh, no, I wasted that. I should have... Yeah, I didn't calculate that right, because I used both my actions, so I'm going to have to discard one of those. I'll keep the gold, I think. And I've got one dice in my bag, so I'm going to draw four. 
draw one, and then I have to put the rest back in to randomly choose the next three. Let's see. I won't put the camera down this time. Yeah, I can do that. There we are. So that's one, two, three, and my fourth. It's all the whites coming out now. What I need is a research, but there's no research because I haven't got that dye. I haven't got my yellow dye out. Um, but I can use both of those as a research symbol. Yeah, I wonder if I want to just change that to a settle maybe. That might be a better idea. There's not much. That's all a higher one. Um, yeah, why not? Why not? Let's discard one of those just to turn that into... which one is that one? Into a higher. So I'm going to do a higher and an explore this turn. Okay, and he's going to roll his. So he's got an explore and a settle as well. Did I move first play? I don't think I moved first player over. Because I do think it's his turn first now. So let's see. He gets a four. So he's going to go one, two, three, four. Now even though it stopped before the second one, it still stopped here. So he's going to use both of those. It's an explore strength two. But remember, he doesn't use the extra explore, so he gets an extra VP chip. And he gets a brown. Now, he can, he can put this here. It's I've got no presence anywhere near there, so he can go on here quite happily. And I don't have any control, any way of getting in there at the moment. But it is my turn, so what would I like to do? I think... I will hire, and you can see I'm on an orange, I'm going to get an orange die. Decided. His turn, he has a one, he's going to do a raid. So the raid, he's got enough tents for that. So here we go, if you have, oh there's a bit of light on there, sorry. Strength one, a map tile where most of the strength can be spent on a tile where it would stop you from being the sole controlling player. So, we're actually, he can't affect that one. We're actually tied on all of those. On a tile where it would stop you from being shared control. Well, that's any of those three, so that's still tied. A tile where it is the least sense away from building a house is the same. A tile that provides the most VPs for first place. So that will be this one here. So, he is going to do a raid on this one. So that goes in there, and that goes back to my supplier. That's quite nice. But he now has full control of here. He's on the factory. However, I can do a little sneaky factory action at the end of the turn here. But we'll, I'll show you that when we get to the end of the round. Right now, what we're going to do, I think I'm going to do an explore. So, one strength explore gets me, it's another brown tile, and it gets the owner. I can't remember what that tile does. Let me look that tile up. Tile number eight. Gain a dive any colour you already have access to. That is rather nice. So I'm going to put this down here, I think. Yeah. And I mark it with mine. He will follow, because he can. I will maintain control, because it's worth four points. But I placed it so I get to gain a die of any colour I have access to. Now I think I really want to do some more research, so I'm actually going to get another yellow for the time being. Although I'm not on any yellow dice, any yellow tiles. There are some yellows coming out. Yeah, I can't get a yellow because I'm not on a yellow tile. So instead, I'll go for brown because that also has one of those on, so that goes into there. That was my second action. He's done his two actions. That's it for the turn. So clear up. I'm keeping my my um, gold again. Discarding that one. Now, the what I can do in the cleanup phase, you'll see... Uh, you may choose to remove one of the bot's tents from one factory where the bot has two or more tents and more tents than you. I'm going to do that to this tile here. Now it does go back to his personal supply, but he doesn't gain the effect. So I'm kind of controlling, I mean, it's, it's simulating um, the bot, uh, another player who would have taken it off to get, gain the ability, because it's a nice ability. So we're going to the next round. So the first player marker moves across. I need to draw four dice out. I have three in my bag. So there's three in the bag. 
these all go back in. Now the bot hasn't been gaining dice very much this round, this game. He often gets a lot of dice. But he hasn't done so far, so let's roll mine. So we have a higher, two settles and an anvil. So we've got a golden anvil, that's quite nice. Um, I don't really want all of that. I think I'm actually just going to get rid of the anvil. Let's draw two more dice out of my bag. So I'm looking... No, uh, it's not going to be... I was looking for a research, but it's not there. So I have a three strength settle, so I think that's, that's fairly obvious what I'm going to do now. It's probably a settle action. Okay, he's going to roll his dice. So two pioneers and a explore. Explore goes there, and the pioneer goes from that marker around to the next side with least dice on. There we go. So I think I'll play out this round and see how we do. So I have. I think I'll do. I'll do a three strength settle straight away. So I only have one tile, one uh, cube here. I think what I'll do is I'll add one on here. That's one action. Two for my second dice action, and three place on there again. And then I have enough to build a house. So there we go. So I now have sole control of that, and that's four to nil. So that's four points locked in for the end game. Meanwhile, the bot is going to do a three. One, two, three. He's going to do a settle. Let's put those back there. A two strength settle. So let's see what he does. Uh, tile of a colour he's not on, he's on all the colours. Tile he has no presence on already. He is not on this tile here, but he's not going to go on a house. Um, unless it has... oh, it does give second place, actually. Yes, it does, it gives second place points. If it was a house and it gave no points, he wouldn't bother. But it does, so he's going to do that. And he still has one strength left. Least number of attempts from building a house. Well, that's going to be one of these two. And it doesn't really matter which of those. So let's arbitrarily say that he goes on with most points on. It's probably what he should be doing. And that's his action. My second action. Now I could hire another dice, but I'm getting quite full of dice at the moment. I think now's the time to cash in my gold. Now I could do a trade later on with the gold and the anvil, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, he gets his second action. It's a two. One, two. He gets an explore. One strength explore. So he gets no bonus VP this time, and it's a uh, green. And he will sneak here, because that's away from everyone else. Um, all of me. But note, he, he's going to take one from his general supply. He has none in his personal supply, so that's all he can do. But I can't follow anyway, and I have none to follow. So that's seven points he's locked in. I think I'm going to stop there for now. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.